All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's raining. It may even snow tonight slash tomorrow morning, and we're in the excursion for the first time. So for those of you who are new around here, I'm Queenie. I solo camp here in Montana with my boy Max. And we truck camp, tent camp. As you see beside me, this is my 24 foot camper. Someday I'll feature it on the channel. I don't know, we'll get there. Um, but we camp, glamp, whatever you guys all wanna call it. We get out and sleep outside. So this is my 2004 Eight Bauer Edition Ford Excursion with the 6.0 Power Stroke. Um, for any of you that searched and found me through the search feature for like truck camping or Power Stroke or whatever the keyword was that got you here and you just went, ooh girl. Um, so you guys understand, my daily driver is my 2006 F250 King Ranch three quarter ton. It has the same 6.0 Power Stroke in it that this one has. Um, I've owned a 6.0 for almost a decade, so I'm not scared. Don't be either. So I bought this wrecked. Um, the market around here is terrible for Ford Excursions, especially how specific I was with what I wanted. Um, so I ended up going to um, the local auto auction Copart and uh, sat and stared at this for three months until it finally came up for auction. Um, got it, got it sent away to a local shop here and everything. They've done all the AC work on it and everything. Um, it was hit in the front, so I need to still bang out the hood so I can get my bug deflector on it to kind of fix that little boo-boo. Um, so then I can get my grill, I can get the replacement headlights I want, I can finish doing all my LED stuff. Um, so I'm pretty far behind on where I want to be for this build but I have to be financially responsible with this as this is just my weekend warrior vehicle. Um, and I still want to continue to be able to watch my nephew play baseball, especially now that he's now in, um, in college and a few states away to do it. So I decided the best way to just figure a few things out is just start getting everything in here. Um, one of the things I want to try to figure out is I want to put another foam pad underneath the one I already have. Um, so this is furniture foam padding. Um, I decided to go with that because it was more cost efficient than some of the mattress pads and everything. Um, I think this one is six inch. If it's wrong, I'll put it somewhere on the screen where I correct myself and everything. Um, I want, I know this is semi firm. I want to get a firm one to get underneath it. And I either want to do four or six inches. Um, one of the nice things about being short is I have a lot of headroom. Um, and obviously right here, this spot is actually not as tall as it is back where I'm going to be sitting up and everything. Um, so I really don't worry about headroom. I can actually almost stand up in this. Um, it's comfortable. I'm still kind of bent over and kind of cockeyed and everything, but I, you know, it's, it's still very comfortable for me. Again, a perk of being short. Um, but anyways, as I work through kind of some things, I already have some notes. I got cup holders behind the camera and everything that are going to need those little extensions and everything so I get my Yeti um, in there and if I can get my bigger um, Rambler in there too. Um, I need to get this seat out so Max has a spot um, to sleep and everything. I think I am going to be able to get him in here. He's not too keen about getting in here. He's super excited about the doors being open. He just won't jump in yet. So we're gonna, probably gonna have to try to pick his, you know, 125 pound booty up and like shove him in here. Um, and then he's got a brand new bed that I bought specifically for this build for him that he refuses to sleep on. So that's, that's great. Thanks, Max. Um, so we'll see if I can't get him to sleep on it. Otherwise he's probably gonna sleep next to me. Um, that's another reason why I put those um, foam exercise tiles down. Plus it kind of helps with the knees and everything because Obviously, I don't want to be cockeyed over and shuffling over and everything. So I will be, you know, kind of bent on my knees and everything. So I want a little more cushion and everything. Um, I think eventually I'm probably going to add, well, the tarp's not going to be here. That is going to come out. Um, I didn't have time to uh, clean the floor as much as I wanted. Um, if you guys remember in the in the video where I 
um, tell you about, you know, getting the excursion and everything. It's how dirty, filthy it was. I went over every inch of the vinyl, the, the plastic and everything with hot soapy water and went through five or six buckets worth. That's how gross it was. And I literally still touch it. And I mean, I probably have to do it like three, maybe even four more times. Yeah. So I didn't get a chance to vacuum nearly much as much as I wanted. And I did not get my um, carpet cleaner in here. So it definitely needs a super deep tubby in here before it's okay. Uh, the smell is finally kind of dissipating. Um, I Febreze the crap out of this thing. Um, late summer into the fall and everything. Um, I may even get one of those like scent discs and everything and throw it in here while it's closed up um, when I'm not in here and we're not working on it. Um, just to kind of get that funky like it's just, it's just, it had just been closed for so long, for so many days, for so many months and everything that it just got a funky, it just got a real funky smell in here. So, um, I've kind of been airing it out today. Plus I'm kind of waiting for, um, the mattress to air up a little bit more. Plus I just put the comforter in, um, so it needs to kind of puff up a little bit. Uh, I'm not done with the bedding. I still have more stuff to throw in here, but, uh, it was just a start. So... I guess here we go. Um, the rain moved in a little quicker than I expected. Uh, I don't really want to get the 10 by 10 canopy out and put it out there, especially if it is going to snow. So probably no meal. I may do a breakfast because I'm not doing a dinner, which is a bummer because I had a really good pasta dish that I was going to cook. And I have some freeze dried meals, but I mean, that's kind of boring. And this is already boring because I'm in, well, the driveway. So I wanted to at least do a good meal with this. But, you know, Mother Nature had other plans for me. So so we're just going to kind of hang out in here. I'm going to start to think about some stuff. I've got to figure out curtains. Um, I did get my rod. I may go grab um, my curtain that is always over my door for my camper. I may throw it in here um, just to kind of start to feel some stuff. Um, I have fabric for curtains. I have, um, I have the reflectix and everything. So I'm going to be unpacking them, putting them on the windows and everything. Um, did I tell you how cold it was going to be tonight? Okay. Cold. Um, so I think the high was supposed to be 50 in Billings. Now I don't, I live outside of Billings, so that temperature is never correct. I'm going to get my thermometer, my inside outside one, and I'm going to throw it out in just a little bit and we'll kind of look to see what the, the temp's going to be. But I think the low in Billings was supposed to be about 20, 22 maybe. Um, so it's probably going to be high teens for us here. And that's about what the temperature was when I went tent camping at Parkside uh, Campground with Max. So um, this is a pretty good test of the preliminary setup and everything. And with that heated um, mattress pad that I put down that you guys saw. Um, yeah, that's kind of interesting too. I didn't, I don't see a lot of people run, run those. Like everybody kind of runs a heater, which I do have. Um, and I do have an electric blanket, which a lot of people run. But I hadn't really seen anybody do the pad. So, and since heat rises, that kind of seemed like a better, better opportunity or no, well, not a better opportunity, a better, um, a better option. So we're going to do that again. I have more bedding to throw in here. I got to put Max's bed, bed in here. I got to shove him in here eventually. And, uh, yeah, we'll just see, see where the time takes us and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So we're in. Oh, hi, Max. I'm sorry. Did I, did I show you? I'm sorry, boy. So we are in the, the excursion and everything. Max had his uh, his meds and everything, and he's just kind of getting getting used to being in here and uh, kind of settling down a little bit. Um, I'll probably let him out in about another 30 minutes or so and uh, make sure he gets a little more water before we kind of call it a night and everything. So as you guys can see, I have... Um, all of the Reflectix. It's not really the name of the company that these are from. I'll put that up on the on the board and everything. I think it's um on the board. Wow, like I'm at school or something. <laughs> I'll put it up on the screen. I think they're called um I think they're from Heat Shield. Um actually, hold on. Yes. 
So these are from Heat Shield. Um, the other company actually did not have one for excursions, so that's why I ended up going with Heat Shield. They fit pretty well. These are the ones that are supposed to have um, the suction cups and everything. I didn't put any of them in. They fit decently and everything, um, and I'm not really worried about the light shining through because I'm just in my driveway and I live outside of the city, so I don't care. So Max's bed did not fit. Um, mostly because I don't know if you guys can see it right right here is the bottoms of the seats they're flipped up and everything so if I get that seat out and everything his bed will fit right there perfectly and uh, all this heartburn I've been having because he just won't jump in it I had his little nighttime snack his little nighttime greenie in my pocket and he jumped right on in for it so um, he will jump in even though the the seat's still right there and everything and it's plenty higher than uh, than getting into the truck. But yeah, um, I got my little puck lights, a couple extra little GoPro batteries because they're terrible in the cold here. And uh, let's get, did I do a temperature check yet? You guys, can you guys see that? Um, so it's saying 33 outside right now and 45 in here. Um, I do um, have the little feeder, I did bring it in. Oh, hold on. Scratch break. He's gonna rock the whole truck. Okay, better boy? Okay. Um, I'm gonna let Max kind of get a little situated and everything before I turn this on. I'm not gonna have this run all night. This thing kind of, eh. Um, reading the manual and everything, <clears throat> it said don't plug it into an extension cord, which of course, well, I have it plugged into. Um, so I'm only going to plug this in while we're kind of awake and everything. I'm going to get it probably up to maybe 55, 45, or what was it? 40, yeah, it's 45. 45 in here actually doesn't feel that bad. Um, so we'll see. I think we'll, we'll run it for a little bit and then we'll get going. And then I got my extension cord running through the back. And as you guys can see, I have, um, this is like insulation foam for, I don't know if it's piping or what, but I use this to hold open my refrigerator and freezer door, my camper, and I have it just sitting on the sill right here so that it uh, puts less pressure on my cord. And if it does begin to rain again tonight, um, it's not going to come in on me. Um, plus, if it does snow tomorrow morning, I won't get, hopefully, I won't get wet. It's okay, big boy. I'm just moving around. It's okay. So, and this is actually west, and of course, for us, our weather comes west to east, so it's going to hit the front of the truck first. So, all right, well, we're just going to hang out for a little bit. Um, anything cool ends up happening or anything, I'll click you back on, but other than that, I think uh, this is it for tonight. Good night, and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Say night-night, Max. Yeah, he's like, this is weird, lady. Good morning guys. So we had a, a pretty good night. Um, I just threw Max out because it was time to go to the bathroom. It's about 8. I'm surprised he let me sleep this long. Let's do one more temperature check. So it's about 23 degrees outside. Uh, I just can't quite get that one. Hold on here. And you see that? Yeah, so it was about 47. Um, degrees in here last night um, as you can see it did snow I'll get out and I'll show you how much snow obviously not not much kind of a dusting um, so I was really surprised at um, how oh, here we go. 
I was actually really surprised um, how hot I um, I ended up being last night. So I did have the uh, heater running. I had it all the way down to um, 40. I had put it at 50, and then I I'll show you that I. We had plenty of air last night, so this was this was cracked, and I left the um, heater on, set on about 40 on eco mode, so it would just kind of come on every so often and everything. Um, and it ended up being too, too warm, so I guess good job on my comforter that I bought. Um, this little bad boy. Oh, here, we'll get some light. Maybe. Sort of. Kind of. Uh, sort of. Anyway, so the, the comforter you saw me throw on last night, I own this same comforter on my own bed. Um, but this is the heavy, uh, heavyweight winter one. And this thing is amazing. Um, it definitely... Uh, held the heat in. I had the um, mattress pad cranked up to like 12 when I got in here and uh, we had the heater on and I was just really really cold and was trying to kind of get acclimated to in here and I can tell you I got to figure a couple things out because and I knew I knew I was going to get air so when you guys saw me make my bed you know I, you saw that I left a lot of a lot of um, extra sheets and the comforter and everything here so that I could kind of build up because I knew I was going to get a draft and so as you can see there's I hope you guys can see so left a little air pocket right there this thing we you know just pours air in so um, I had to just crank this mattress pad up and it ended up being so hot so Last night I went to bed wearing, you know, my beanie, I had my hood up, I have, you know, just my regular sweatshirt on, which um, is polyester, but it's got a, um, like a micro fleece on the inside. I got my, um, like, lightweight thermal pants on, I had smart wool socks on, and by 2 a.m. this morning, um, I was wearing the pants and my normal uh, cami uh, tank top that I wear pretty much every day. I got just like, I have five of them. I wear them every night to bed. And that's literally where I was down to. This kept me just so absolutely warm. It was incredible and everything. So um, I kept checking in on Max um, every time I kind of woke up because every time the heater would pop on um or go off and everything i would wake up i'd come over here um i would check on him he was never rolled in a ball so i knew he was okay um i would check underneath him to see how warm he was like his chest and his belly and everything so i knew um i knew he was okay and i was probably just worrying about him more than than i should so um i think i'm gonna get no breakfast this morning. Um, slept in a little longer than I kind of expected. I expected Max to wake me up at like six, like usual. Um, so I think I'm just gonna kind of end it here. I'll see you guys next time. I got a couple things planned for us. Um, I don't know if we're gonna tent camp next or if we'll be back in here. But anyways, um, thanks for coming along. I appreciate it. Like, comment, surprise, uh, surprise. Really? Yeah. Uh, subscribe and everything and uh i'll see you guys next time and have a good week what you doing master what you doing big boy yeah it snowed huh big boy yeah yeah <laughs> i can't get you in the shot if you're trying to smell the camera dork <laughs> 
We go inside. Go get breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come on. Come on, big boy. Uh -huh.